I would call this a great success. Hey, cappuccino, cappuccino, cappuccino. Do you want new enclosure? I think he wants it. Yeah, today's video will be dedicated to this little furry fella. As you know, this is cappuccino and he is Syrian hamster and he definitely, definitely requires bigger enclosure than this one. If you aren't really familiar with hamster enclosures, you may look at this and say, well, this is much, much bigger enclosure than usual hamster enclosures that you can buy in pet shops. So why do you need to upgrade this huge enclosure? Huge enclosure. The fact is, unfortunately, great majority of enclosures that are sold in the pet shops and are recommended for these four little fellas are actually really, really too small for them. If you ask me, the minimum size that I would recommend for Syrian hamster would be like twice the size of this current enclosure. This is measuring 120 centimeters times like 40. Let me just check. No, 35, even less. So I would definitely recommend double that size. And also what is really important for them, we should provide them substrate that is deep enough for them so they can burrow. I don't have the exact number that I would recommend, but the more the better. All of these recommended dimensions, they are based off our own assumptions. So we can't really know what is like the minimum for them to thrive, but we as the keeper should always strive to provide them the very best. And the misting system is going off. Misting the Felix's enclosure. Great timing as usual. And here is Mitsa. Hey Mitsa, you wanna say hi to people watching you? Hey. Are you sleepy sleepy? Yeah, she's definitely sleepy. But she is purring. <laughs> This video is the softer side of the dark dam. <laughs> so let me explain you the plan. You see these stairs. If you remember, I said that I want a big paludarium here in the middle. And that should technically be the last project that I mentioned for the dark dam. But before that project, we have a bunch of other stuff that we need to do first. Like for example, this huge enclosure. I need to set it up and put something inside. This top enclosure. Well, this technically won't be enclosure, but I will keep plants there. And I also need to fix that. Since I will move cappuccino, I will do something with this area. This compartment will have extra heating and I will keep scorpions here. This place will be extra secured for Brazilian wandering spider. We need to make enclosure for Thor. He's down there. He's still waiting for that. This enclosure, I will set it up for Harpactira pulhipes female once I get that one. I will put a small pool and waterfall inside and that will be a really interesting build. Here we also have one empty spot for some vivarium. I need to set all of these enclosures, this enclosure, these two enclosures, these two enclosures. A lot of enclosures are waiting. We also have this empty space for another vivarium and I'm still not sure for what exactly. Then you know, I said that I want to place a huge paldarium here. This will also be one epic and big project. So you see there is a lot of projects before that paladarium that I plan to do. And Cappuccino needs bigger enclosure now. So for now I decided to just use this empty space on the stairs to put his new enclosure. You see this is the basic idea. The main part will be resting on the top stair. And here we have an overhang that is going on the second stair. Or technically first stair if you count like first, second. I don't know, whatever. But what this will provide me, he will have huge area to move around. This is one meter by one meter. But also he will have this deeper side where he can dig and make tunnels and whatever, whatever he wants to do. He will have plenty of options. So I think that you can see the idea behind this. This is the bottom. These are the side panels, but I will need to cut it like, like this using jigsaw because the top is resting here and bottom here but I need to make space for this stair. This is the back panel. This one is going here and on front we will have a glass. Glass panel similar like we have here. But I still haven't received that glass. I ordered it but I will receive it tomorrow. So we will build majority of enclosure today then we will do one time jump and then I will have the glass panel and we will install it, fill it up with the substrate, all of his stuff and move him in. Oh, and one, one cool thing that I got. Look at this. This is one huge wheel that I got for him. Look how big it is. It's huge compared to his current one, even though this one is like the minimum size for him, because he's still kind of small. But if he grows, he will need a bigger one and that's why I have this one. Preparation is the key. So now I will put you on a tripod and I will start connecting the panels. Okay? Okay. 
the way I will build this entire enclosure it will be the same way like I build all the furniture for the dark den so I won't be going into a detail on how to build it this won't be a how-to video instead I will link a video here where I explain the whole procedure but it is really simple and if you are watching this video closely I'm pretty sure you will figure it out how everything is going I'm pretty sure so first I will connect this side with this side then I will attach this side and then we'll cut the side panel, attach that, attach back and then we are basically done for today. So let's go. Now the bottom part is finished, which means that we can measure this part, mark it on the sides and cut it with jigsaw. Hey Mitsa, you're in my shot. <laughs> what Mitsa? Do you wanna go out? Wanna go out? Mitsa? <laughs> there we go. She definitely wanted to go out. Where were we? It is actually a good thing that she went out because we are going to use a jigsaw now and that would definitely shock her if she was still sleeping. Now in case you still don't understand how this is going, you will understand it now for sure. Oh my god, I messed it up! I measured the wrong side and now you see this part is in the air and it was supposed to be flush with the bottom. I can still salvage it by cutting this part and making it a bit shorter but that means I will have a lip on top and also the glass will go... Oh, bravo me! I will now stop complaining and fix this. Is it good now? <laughs> yeah, I got it now. But this means extra cutting on the other side and also on the back side. Let's cut the other side. This one also fits nicely. Very nice. Let's now connect this. Now only the back panel is left, but since I cut this one, that means that also I will need to cut the back panel because I don't want it to... Or should I just leave it to be a bit taller? Does it really matter? Let's put it down and I will... After I see it, I will make the decision. Yeah, I think that I will just... I think that I will just leave it like that. You see, it is not that bad. It almost looks like it was intentional. Sweet. So that means I just need to screw this in and we are done for today. Ta-da! The first part is complete and now you see what I'm talking about. You see how I use the stairs? All that is left is to silicone all the seams. That way when he will pee in some of the corners, the pee won't get between the wood and cause the wood to expand. That will prevent that. And we will silicone the glass here so the enclosure will actually be usable. After that we will set up the enclosure. We will put some, some nice piece of wood in the middle. We will use the stuff from his enclosure, put new wheel, put a lot of substrate so he will be able to enjoy his new space. But first, one time jump and it is the next day. I have silicone gun ready to silicone the edges and also the glass panel is here so we can install that. This is going here. As I already explained on this front side I cleaned all the seams so the silicone will stick better and I forgot about one thing. Before setting up the enclosure we will need to do another time jump because I will silicone this now and the silicone needs 24 hours to cure. That means we need to wait for that before setting up the enclosure and introducing cappuccino inside. So another time jump. But for you as always it is just a snap of a finger. Now let's silicone the stuff.
that's it time jump and this is the final jump as you see all the silicone is cured and it is ready for introducing the substrate and also the wood details and all that other stuff you see cappuccino is here you know he's inside his food dish his favorite place so first i'm going to put these wood pieces inside but this one i will use it as a height because you see it is hollow underneath and i'll just put it inside of the corner and you see he will be able to crawl inside and have his his awesome hiding place but this one will go like like this i just need to make sure that he cannot climb this mm, maybe a bit lower like that yeah that would be much better and i will use hot glue to connect the i mean to secure the wood so it doesn't move Now we need to just let it dry and in the meantime we will add the other woods, other wood pieces. I have this lovely one, that one will go somewhere like here in the corner, something like that. I don't need to secure it because it is stable enough, especially when it's surrounded by the substrate and it will provide a lot of climbing space for the for cappuccino. Also I will use current wood pieces and cork barks. Sorry cappuccino, sorry for the disturbance. Like that, this. This will help him feel more familiar in the enclosure. And I will actually take a piece of his old hide, all these broken tissues that he got, and I'll just push it under here. That way this hide will already be familiar to him. He will have his own scent and he shouldn't be stressed out. Well, this big wood piece. Everything is disappearing. What is happening? <laughs> actually, I need it outside because I need to pour the substrate now. See if that is enough. Oh no, we need more. Definitely more. Yeah, now I definitely see that I made a mistake. I had to make it a bit taller, like this tall. Hopefully he won't just make a ladder like this and crawl out. <laughs> Okay, now this is definitely interesting. He got a place to burrow. This cork bark is going inside and a lot of wood, huge wheel, super height. I hope that he will be a happy hamster. Let's put him inside. Cappuccino, I have something special for you. I will pick you up now. Don't be scared because this will be amazing. Look at this cappuccino. What do you say about this? So much space so much stuff to do right oh he's so tiny now he definitely won't be able to escape <laughs> Ooh, cappuccino you like it yeah that is your height <laughs> look at this <laughs> look at his booty <laughs> is it cozy inside cappuccino oh there he is <laughs> so exciting so many new places to explore amazing Whoa, yeah, you can go there, you can go up, you can go behind. So much stuff to do. I'm so excited for him. Right, Cappuccino? Are you also excited? <laughs> he definitely is in his explorer mode. <laughs> Just crawling around, checking everything out. Awesome, I'm so happy for him. Can you reach there? I hope you can't. So hyped. <laughs> Yeah, you can run in that. I know it's huge, but jeez, look at this. <laughs> I would call this a great success. But he needs water. I need to connect this also with the hot glue. So I'll put there somewhere here. And his food dish. Just on some random spot, like here. Totally random. <laughs> He doesn't care about food at the moment. He just wants to explore everything. <laughs> Cappuccino, cannot climb that. And also one thing that I'm lacking, on this empty spot I will have a big tray with the sand, but I need to get the chinchilla sand. That way he will have a place to bath. He's so hyped, look at him. Hey Cappuccino, what is it? How are you? Do you like it? Super hyped. He doesn't know what to do. So many options, so many new places to explore. He likes his new wheel. 
the sound of his tiny paws hilarious anyhow i think that that will be everything for this video in the future i will definitely have more fun with his enclosure i would like to make like a big castle in the middle so so oh look at this we found a weak spot cappuccino cappuccino i didn't agree to that so that means i need to push this a bit further but good thing that he showed me that he can escape from there <laughs> okay you smarty pants now he shouldn't be able to do that again but i will definitely watch him for the next hour or so to see what he got on his tiny mind <laughs> to see what are his options this looks so good i'm so happy for him can you escape there show me now oh kind of close right almost at his reach this is nice enclosure cappuccino right but that would be everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up and comment something if you want to support this channel even more there's a patreon page if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe i upload every monday and friday so see you again soon bye